Hi folks, Nancy Hall here. I'd like to show you my studio and how I paint. So my son's built me this studio. So if you want to look around, it's my art apparatus. And over there is where my paints are. I have a variety of watercolor, acrylic, all kinds of supplies to do my, my wonderful artwork. And then the ceiling is my favorite part. I love it. I have some skylights and I have windows all over. It's a north facing room. So I have some beautiful natural lighting, including all my plants. So as a mouth painter, you will see my art apparatus. My niece, Candace Ronaldo invented it. Uh, we did it kind of together. It's all magnetized. So everything that I paint with is magnetized. So if I want a watercolor, I put up the watercolors as magnets on the back, and then I just pop them right up here when I want a watercolor. Of course, these are just my watercolors that I use to sketch with, and then I have some good ones. And then when I want to acrylic paint, I put up my acrylic palette. I use a wet palette to keep my paints wet. And I just made a fresh palette because I just started this painting yesterday. It is one of my sunflowers from my yard. And I took it with my, that's the color of my living room, that beautiful blue. That's the one, one day of painting. So, and then when I go to paint, I just gonna pull right up here and my girlfriend's gonna put paintbrush right in my mouth. And I go right up real close. And I have this wonderful chair that allows me to go up. So I go high like this. So, and I got this little cup right here with my napkin. It's quite amazing. And I'm just gonna dip it in my right color. And then I just start to paint like this. As you can see, I'm quite close. And when I have to do real fine work, I like to mix. Some people ask me, do I mix on the palette? Sometimes I mix on the palette and sometimes I mix right on the actual painting itself. So I get real close and sometimes when I have to do real, real intricate work, I have to use a very tiny, tiny paintbrush. And I mean, we're talking folks, I have to get so close that I myself am going to see cross-eyed. Now, this painting, like I said, I just started it um, yesterday. So by the time I'm done with it, I am hoping that it will look pretty much like the picture that I took. I love my sunflowers. I, I grew them right from seed. And so, and then I just layer after layer, after layer, after layer, after layer, I will do this until I get it just, just right. So it, it's quite an amazing thing. And then over here, I have these little, little slots so that if I'm all done, you want to turn that for me? And I want another paintbrush, I can push it right in there and then I can back up or come back and do it again if it's watercolor. It's quite an amazing thing. It, it has really freed me up to um, paint independently and also use a variety of mediums. So I can use the watercolor, I can use acrylic, I can use um, different kinds of watercolor I put right there on the the lower thing and thank God for my chair it goes up if I have to reach it high as you always notice I don't use really large palettes because I have limited neck movement so I can't really 
do super big, big pet, big ones yet. Unless I invent something that does like a can twirl or something, I have yet to figure it out. But that's okay. I'm sticking to smaller, smaller paintings. I like detail, and uh, I hope that this was informative, and you guys have a great day. Thanks.